I had to take the money and go to Brooklyn. I told her, look, don't do nothing. Don't talk to nobody. Don't do nothing. I'll be back. I didn't wear a watch, but I always listened to the radio in the car. Always had music on. And I'm going to tell you right now, when I got to Brooklyn, the man said it was 302. I'll never forget that on the radio. I left the house. I was just driving around, really. It was late. Nobody was up sleeping. I just kept driving and thinking. I was in a fog. I really didn't know what to do. You know, I was really messed up. The more I thought about it, the worse it got. I was driving with the window open. The radio was off. When it's time to change, you have to rearrange. The problem was Ronald DeFeo Sr., my father. He's the cause of all of this. The only way to get rid of him, he's got to go back to hell. My father was my best friend in uh, many, many ways. No matter what I did, and uh, the truth of the matter is most of the time I was always wrong. I was always in trouble. No matter what I did, he was always there for me to bail me out. There was nothing but bad in that house. I was gonna burn it to the ground. That's the truth. I was gonna burn it to the ground. I just pray to God it don't happen to nobody else. That's why I told you, anybody buys that house and got kids and move in there, come on, man. You gotta be, you really gotta be. Something wrong with you. I lived in that house all those years. I've never saw anything really peculiar or strange. Never once. It was mass confusion. My sister shoots my mother. But all I see is a flash, so I swing the gun over and fire a shinoli shot. Now I shot my mother. I didn't know what the hell was going on. It's a wallet, 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 it's a wallet. You know, I mean, this is crazy. This is mass confusion in this bedroom. Mass confusion. <laughs> 